Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of dust mites and their impact on allergies. We'll uncover the facts, debunk common myths, and share practical tips for preventing and treating dust mite allergies. So, let's get started. Dust mites are microscopic creatures belonging to the arachnid family, closely related to spiders and ticks. These tiny critters thrive in warm, humid environments and are commonly found in household dust. Dust mites feed on dead skin cells shed by humans and pets, making our homes, especially our beds, ideal breeding grounds. Despite their minuscule size, about a quarter of a millimeter long, dust mites can cause significant allergic reactions in susceptible individuals. It's not the mites themselves, but their waste products and decomposed bodies that trigger allergic responses. Dust mite allergies are prevalent worldwide and can cause a range of symptoms from mild to severe. Common symptoms include sneezing, runny or stuffy nose, itchy or watery eyes, coughing, post-nasal drip, itchy skin or eczema flare-ups, and asthma symptoms such as wheezing and shortness of breath. For individuals with asthma, dust mite allergies can exacerbate their condition, leading to increased frequency and severity of asthma attacks. Given the widespread nature of dust mites, Managing and preventing allergic reactions is crucial for maintaining a good quality of life. Let's tackle some common myths about dust mites. Myth 1, dust mites only live in dirty homes. One of the most persistent myths is that dust mites only infest dirty homes. In reality, dust mites can thrive in any household, regardless of cleanliness. They feed on dead skin cells, which are present in all homes. Regular cleaning can help reduce their numbers, but won't eliminate them entirely. Myth 2. You can see dust mites. Dust mites are microscopic and invisible to the naked eye. If you think you've seen a dust mite, it's likely dust or another small particle. To detect dust mites, you'd need a microscope. Myth 3. Only people with allergies need to worry about dust mites. While those with allergies are more affected, everyone should be aware of dust mites. High concentrations of dust mites can affect indoor air quality and contribute to respiratory issues over time, even in individuals without allergies. Myth 4. Freezing bedding kills dust mites. Some believe that freezing bedding will kill dust mites. While extreme cold can kill them, it's not a practical or effective method. Dust mites thrive in mattresses, pillows, and upholstery, making it impractical to freeze all these items. Myth 5. Dust mites. Only live in beds. Beds are a primary habitat, but dust mites also live in carpets, upholstered furniture, curtains, and even stuffed toys. Any place where skin cells accumulate can harbor dust mites. Reducing dust mites in your home involves creating an environment that's less hospitable to them. Here are some effective strategies. First, control humidity levels. Dust mites thrive in humid environments. Keeping indoor humidity below 50% can significantly reduce their population. Use a dehumidifier or air conditioner to maintain optimal humidity levels. Next, wash bedding regularly. Wash all bedding, including sheets, pillowcases, and blankets in hot water, at least 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 54 degrees Celsius once a week. Hot water kills dust mites and removes allergens. If hot water washing is not possible, consider using an anti-allergen laundry additive. Also use dust mite proof covers. Encasing mattresses, pillows, and box springs in dust mite proof covers can prevent mites from colonizing these areas. These covers are made of tightly woven fabric that keeps mites out while still allowing the material to breathe. Don't forget to vacuum frequently. Vacuum carpets, rugs, and upholstered furniture regularly using a vacuum cleaner equipped with a HEPA filter. HEPA filters trap dust mites in their waste, preventing them from being released back into the air. Remember to vacuum under and around the bed. Additionally, reduce clutter. Clutter provides more places for dust mites to hide and accumulate. Keep your home tidy and reduce the number of items that can collect dust, such as stuffed animals, decorative pillows, and knickknacks. Use allergen-proof bedding for infants as they are more susceptible to allergies. Use allergen-proof bedding for cribs and ensure that their sleeping environment is as dust-free as possible. Consider removing carpets. If feasible, replace carpets with hard flooring options like tile, hardwood, or laminate. Carpets are a haven for dust mites, and hard floors are easier to clean and maintain. Wash stuffed toys. 
Stuffed toys can harbor dust mites. Wash them regularly in hot water and dry them thoroughly. Alternatively, place stuffed toys in a plastic bag and freeze them for 24 hours to kill dust mites. Lastly, use air purifiers. Air purifiers with HEPA filters can help reduce airborne dust mite allergens. Place air purifiers in bedrooms and living areas to improve indoor air quality. Clean upholstered furniture regularly using a steam cleaner. Steam cleaning can kill dust mites and remove allergens. Consider using removable, washable covers for sofas and chairs. If you're experiencing dust mite allergies, several treatment options can help alleviate your symptoms. Over-the-counter medications like antihistamines, decongestants, and nasal corticosteroids can help manage allergy symptoms. These medications are available over-the-counter and can provide relief from sneezing, runny nose, and congestion. For more severe allergies, a doctor may prescribe stronger medications including prescription antihistamines, nasal sprays, or leukotriene modifiers. These medications can help reduce inflammation and control symptoms more effectively. Allergy shots or immunotherapy involves receiving regular injections of small amounts of the allergen over several years. This can help desensitize the immune system to dust mites, reducing the severity of allergic reactions over time. Sublingual immunotherapy or allergy drops is also an option for some individuals. Nasal irrigation with saline solution can help clear nasal passages and reduce congestion. This method can be particularly effective for those with chronic sinusitis or severe nasal congestion. Implementing the preventive measures mentioned earlier can also help minimize exposure to dust mites and reduce allergy symptoms. Combining these strategies with medical treatments can provide the best results. Creating an allergy-friendly home involves more than just reducing dust mites. Here are additional steps you can take to minimize allergens in your living space. Control pet dander. Pets can carry dust mites and produce dander, another common allergen. Regularly bathe and groom pets and keep them out of bedrooms and off furniture. Use hypoallergenic products. Choose hypoallergenic pillows, mattresses, and bedding. These products are designed to resist dust mites and other allergens. Improve ventilation. Ensure your home is well ventilated to reduce humidity and improve air quality. Use exhaust fans in bathrooms and kitchens and open windows when weather permits. Maintain HVAC systems. Regularly clean and maintain heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. Replace filters as recommended and consider using high-efficiency filters to trap allergens. Establish a regular cleaning routine to keep dust and allergens at bay. Dust surfaces with a damp cloth to prevent dust from becoming airborne and mop floors frequently. Dust mite allergies can significantly impact your quality of life, but with the right knowledge and strategies, you can manage and reduce their presence in your home. By controlling humidity, maintaining a clean environment, and using appropriate treatments, you can alleviate allergy symptoms and create a healthier living space. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more tips on maintaining a healthy home. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay healthy and allergen-free.